Assalamu alaikum class this is uh, Hiraf Shah uh, and I am going to teach you the uh, pneumonia case study today uh, and this is for the final year morning and evening session uh, including all groups A, B and C. So today we are starting our uh, topic of case study that is the pneumonia. So uh, here is the case of uh, Kathy Peter, a uh, patient uh, who is 63 years old and <clears throat> present uh, to the emergency with a history of coughing and wheezing uh, for about uh, past five days and uh, she is getting the symptoms of cold uh, which, are, which have been getting worse uh, as the time passes and she uh, felt like uh, extremely tired and exhausted from this cold she feels like uh, she has become more shortness of breath over the past 24 hours uh, she started feeling sick approximately five days ago and it started with a dry cough and with the and she also expectorated some uh, sputum which is thicker uh, and rust colored mucus and uh, she notices some wheezing after uh, coughing spells and this morning Kathy woke up uh, in a coughing fit and she said that she felt some sharp pain in her chest she rates the pain uh, a num 5 by 10 and when it occurs Kathy uh, felt feverish over the past few days and she sometimes get the chills and her higher temp uh, highest temperature was 102 degree centigrade. Her past medical history includes the hypertension and she is also a smoker since about 30 years. Her BP is uh, 110 uh, by 80 and uh, her BP is 80 by 110 sorry and her heart rate is 96 beats per minute and respiratory rate is 26 uh, breaths per minute and temperature is 101.6 uh, degree centigrade and saturated oxygen is 94% on room air. Physical examination shows the fatigued appearance and congested cuff and uh, wheezing and bronchi right lower chest with expiration. Bronchi are basically the low pitched wheezes or snore like sounds that can be heard with the stethoscope uh, and their presence means an obstruction or increased amount of secretion in the airways. Uh, now comes to assessment. Uh, the, these were the findings uh, that include the dry cough and the chills, fever and the uh, Expector, expectorant and uh, past medical history include hypertension and she was also a, she is also a smoker since about 30 years and uh, she has coughing also so the uh, in the part of assessment uh, the differential diagnosis could uh, could be the asthma chronic bronchitis, nosocomial pneumonia, community acquired pneumonia. So the community acquired pneumonia is usually caused by the bacteria most commonly are the uh, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pneumonia which include the Pneumococcus, Klebsiella pneumonia, Mycoplasma pneumonia, Chlamydophila pneumonia, Legionella pneumophila. These are the most commonly found agents uh, which can cause a community acquired pneumonia. So uh, to establish the diagnosis, uh, following test uh, must be performed to confirm the uh, presence of pneumonia. 
चेस्ट रेडियोग्राफी ब्लड कल्चर्स आर्टीरियल ब्लड गैसेस स्प्यूटम कल्चर्स सो द कैथीज चेस्ट एक्सरे रिवील्स द कॉन्सॉलीडेशन विच शोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द ब्रोंको नमोनिया द कॉन्सॉलीडेशन इज बेसिकली द रिजल्ट ऑफ द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ एयर इन द एलव्यूलाई बाय द ट्रांसुडेट पस ब्लड सेल्स और अदर सब्सटेंसेस नमोनिया इज बाय फार द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ कॉन्सॉलीडेशन so the most likely cause of this patient's pneumonia could be uh, mycoplasma pneumonia, streptococcus pneumonia, chlamydophila pneumonia, legionella pneumophila, which are the most commonly uh, found bacteria, which can cause the community acquired pneumonia. the etiology of community acquired pneumonia is streptococcus pneumonia or the pneumococcus till proven. otherwise from mild to severe cases this is the organism which can uh, cause the which is the number one cause of the community acquired pneumonia uh, starts with shaking chills and rusty sputum and these are the symptoms which are found in uh, this patient that is the kathi Uh, should the kathi be hospitalized uh, the hospitalization is based on the curb 65 scale uh, it is the uh, international scale and it is a simple test to determine the pneumonia severity but it is not a substitute for the clinical judgment the clinicians should assign the one point for each criteria met by the patient curb is c for confusion B for blood urea nitrogen curb blood urea nitrogen C for confusion U is for urea blood urea nitrogen or BUN uh, which must be greater than 20 mg per deciliter and uh, R is for respiratory rate which must be greater than and equal to 30 breaths per minute and the bp b is for blood pressure systolic blood pressure must be less than 90 mm of hg or diastolic blood pressure must be less than and equal to 60 mm of hg and 65 scale is age must be greater than or equal to 65 years old if the patient score comes to 0 to 1 points then the outpatient treatment is appropriate for those patients and if the two points are given to the curb scale then it indicates the hospitalization and inpatient treatment and greater than or equal to 3 points warrants the inpatient treatment in the ICU so uh, the treatment given to the Uh, this uh, this patient uh, could be a macrolide or which includes the azithromycin or a tetracycline which includes the doxycycline combination therapy can also be given with a macrolide uh, and doxycycline combination therapy with beta lactam which includes high dose of amoxicillin or augmentin and doxycycline can also be given or the fluoroquinolone can also be uh, given to treat the pneumonia which include the levofloxacin or moxifloxacin treatment uh, include the empiric treatment must always cover the possibility of streptococcus pneumonia so empiric uh, therapy will be given to this patient which uh, must covers the streptococcus pneumonia or uh, pneumococcus following antibiotics are active against the streptococcus pneumonia penicillin which includes the augmentin and the cephalosporin which includes the ceftriaxone macrolide includes the azithromycin quinolones include the ciprofloxacin tetracyclines include the doxycycline so this is uh, all about this uh, case of pneumonia If you have any questions you can ask me anytime thank you